That's a weird personification. Looks like a hell. <laughs> looks like a demon, not a monster. So Leviathan here, back with another reaction today. Welcome, welcome, people. Today we're continuing up the psychological anime disguised as a sports anime, Blue Lock. You know, we meet um, Itsagi Yoichi, um, a kid who's like a striker in, in soccer team, but, you know, he always felt that, like, he, like um, there's no I in team because that's what his coach kept saying to him, right? Until he got invited to this organization called Blue Lock, right? So Blue Lock is basically like a... a um, a institution that tries to stimulate and uh, develop strikers or one of the best strikers in Japan to basically take him to the World Cup and have Japan win a World Cup. It's teaching him to be egotistical, be selfish, care for himself and be an, um, an above all like try to be personally the best but not, don't who cares about your team right so it was definitely a shocker to him but i think he figured it out once he did like the test with with the tag game where it, it kind of showed him that he needs to beat the strongest people here if he wants to be strong so i get def isagi's definitely gonna be developing a bit a bit of an ego here just a little bit <laughs> but we'll definitely i'm definitely excited to see what's gonna happen in this episode um don't forget to like share and subscribe turn on notifications down below guys so you know when i upload next and consider commenting on the video down here love to hear your guys thoughts about the reaction and also give me some recommendations guys i really want to know what you guys want to see but without further ado we're gonna get started with blue lock episode two let's go はっきり申し上げます。このままでは日本サッカーは未来永劫。ワールドカップ優勝は不可能かと。もしかしてアンリちゃん本気で信じてんの？日本が優勝できるって。Yo, fuck this guy. This guy really just said we're making dough. Who gives a shit if Japan wins? What happened to your country's pride, man? 私は信じています。日本サッカーをぶち壊し。so is she like the head of Blue Lock, like the, the top member who basically hired this guy to create the strikers? Ego Chimpachi. The fact that his name is Ego, Ego, <laughs> come on. I can't believe I didn't even realize that. What are you doing? The power of the power of the power of the power of the power. Get the hell out of here. You're gone. You're gone, dude. Bro, this guy's losing his cool. What the hell? He's right, man. This plain tag is, is even harder because you gotta like aim and hit a moving target. You can tell by the fact of how nice you were when you came in here. The guy literally told you you need to be selfish and develop an ego. You failed the moment you walked in here, Kira. <laughs> でも、ラスト10秒じゃどうしよう。お前は試合でも同じことを言うのか。味方のシュートがお前に直撃したその瞬間、お前は諦めて敗北を受け入れた。You got to you got to take every opportunity you get even if it's a millisecond. ストライカーとはその全責任を負い、最後の1秒まで戦う人間のことですよ。that's, that's the kind of thing we're looking for here. Be selfish as shit. Who gives a crap? Lock off. My dude, stop embarrassing yourself. Get the fuck out of here. Just stop embarrassing yourself. なんで結果記録の速攻人生を俺が終わらせたなのになんで俺はこんなに高ぶってるどうですか生まれて初めて人生をかけて戦った気分はビビったろしびれたろこれがブルーロックの常識だ。I actually love that that he said that. He's like, how do you feel about fighting for your own life, your career? 
That's what it means to compete on the world class level. I also believe there'll be also a team as well too. Like they'll work together. Really? Team Z. Bro, the uniforms here, if it, it, it reminds me of like an like a dystopian organization or something. Why did this man not have shoes on? <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> Even now, they still don't have shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I think this is the This Bashar guy is important too. I'm gonna try to remember his name, okay? There's a monster inside Isaki as well. That's a weird personification. Looks like a hell. <laughs> looks like a demon, not a monster. Jeez. ゴールを奪い。もっと驚いて。でもあの時はさ、怪物が言ったんだ。潔にパスを出せって。あいつの中にも怪物がいるって。怪物？それが俺のブルーロックで生き残るヒントになるかもしれない。メッシもクリスティアーノ・ロナウドもノエル・ノアもすげえやつはみんな心の中に怪物を飼ってるきっとそれがストライカーの証なんだ。It's like kind of like silencing the world around you and just focusing on a singular target. なんなんだよこいつ。言ってること意味わかんねえ。でもこいつは俺に勇気をくれる。Oh, so I, I was trying to wonder what they were doing there. So now they're going to update the rankings for everybody. Now that they did a fitness test. This guy became 275? Oh, Oh, オニゴッコで各部屋1人ずつ脱落して現在残り人数は275名1から11位がBから22位がCつまりお前らチームZは最低ランク5号棟ランキング上位者は上のランクの棟で最高の飯とトレーニングを得ている ここではサッカーがうまいやつが王様だ。And I'm scared to see like the kind of monsters who are in like team A or B. Cause they're definitely on a whole nother level. New Jared, one of the world's 11 heroes. What? What the hell is that? 11 heroes? Matakyomi I'm kind of I'm trying to figure out is this guy in high school or in college because he's met he was mentioning college kids in Germany but he looks like he's in high school あ、今日はなんか JFU の記者会見があるみたいというふうに日本をワールドカップ優勝に導くためのストライカーを育成しようというのが一人のために
他の299人の人生を台無しにしても構わないってことですか ?I kind of like the fact that they say that if you get locked up, you can't compete anymore. It shows a whole different level of motivation for you. その通りです。日本サッカーが次に進むためには、このイカれたプロジェクトが必要なんです一次セレクションは、お前らのいる5号棟55名、全5チームによる総当たりリーグ戦。上位2チームのみが2次セレクションへと勝ち上がるサバイバルマッチだフォワード11人で1つのチームとかありえないだろそんなのいいですかサッカーはもともと点を取るスポーツですサッカーとは元来全員がストライカーであることから始まったその原点からサッカーをやれワールドカップ出場といういつか見た私たちの夢はもう役目を終えたんですなら今こそ日本サッカーは新しい夢を見る時です今日本が世界一になるために最も必要なのは11人のチームワークじゃないたった一人の英雄なんだよたった一人のプレーがチームを国を世界を変えていくそれがサッカーというスポーツだワールドカップ優勝という新しい夢を見る勇気はありますか戦う準備はできてるかその全てがブルーロックにあるサイちゃん<笑>そろそろ行かないと But this guy is impressed he likes it cause he needs a, he needs a powerful forward にどんなバカが生まれるか俺がこの目で確かめてやる Oh my god and whoever, whoever that idiot is is gonna be a part of his team Team X Bro, I'm glad, man. We're just starting right into the game. Whew. Okay, people, that was Boog Lock episode 2. In intense. Intense. So, we're quick recap. Um, that whole situation where like Isagi took out Kira and then Kira just snapped. I did not expect him to go that hard. Like, he was, like, I kind of understand it though. The guy didn't expect himself to lose. He was all cocky and overconfident, and that was his problem. You know, we got the Bakari guy, Bacharia, ba Bakira guy, I think. I don't remember. He, he's pretty awesome too. He, he was, um, he was kind of mentioning that he had like a monster inside him as well. Um, something that was like, like similar to Isagi's. And I think what they mean by monster is just like a singular focus to win, right? When we had that um, little situation where he started to talk about the uh, everybody being forwards and stuff like that and, and everybody kind of essentially um, working as, as a team of forwards, it's going to be interesting because I think what he's trying to do here is trying to get people to be more egotistical. And when you're on a team, it, it, you can't help but work as a team. But if you're on a team and you're ego and everybody's egotistical, that's going to be very, very intriguing. Um, I think I'm going to end the video here. Take care, guys. And you guys all have a great rest of your day. Thanks for all the support you guys give. I'll keep pushing out more of these reactions for as long as I can. Seriously, I'm working myself like a dog, guys. Oh. Please subscribe. <laughs> Bye.